Hey, hey, good morning, Facebook. Good morning. Happy Sunday to you. Welcome to the backyard jungle. There was lots of critters. In fact, there was, I knew we had an armadillo. I know maybe you've seen an armadillo before. If you live in Florida, you've definitely seen them either kind of run over. They're not the smartest ones, but they are, this one in our backyard is enormous. It's a giant armadillo. Gosh, it was so big. I got some video. I'll share it with you later. But there's lots of critters. I saw lizards and there's birds and armadillas, <laughs> like crazy creatures. So anyway, this is the backyard, the jungle, AKA the backyard jungle. And this is, you're chiming into right now, the Daily Dose. Happy Sunday to you. I don't know if you caught the sunrise picture or video clip that I did earlier. Uh, it was a beautiful sunrise. And we live a little, we have a few houses away from the beach. Uh, very, very blessed to be as close as we are. But today I wanna ask you, and we're flexible that we don't live on the beach, although it would be awesome if we did. But I want to share with you today about flexibility. And my question to you is, um, how flexible are you? And why I'm asking that question on a side note, this being the Daily Dose episode number 56 of the Daily Dose. And what I did was 56 days ago, I decided to start a show, a morning show, Facebook Live show, if you will, for encouragement, to help encourage people because it was a time 56 days ago, maybe all in between a lot of times where there's just not a lot of encouragement out there. So what I chose to do is to be a little flexible in how I offer what I offer, um, help to others. I have a coaching program. I actually started about two and a half years ago in the online space. I've been an online coach for two and a half years. I've been a personal trainer, health and fitness uh, coach and expert for the past 25 years. Probably wasn't much of an expert in the beginning, but over the past 25 years, I have a few success stories under my belt, been doing it for a long time, love it, and continue to do it in an online version. And I have what's called the Lean Body Breakthrough Coaching Program. That on a side note. I'm also doing a 21 day challenge. So if you have an interest in that, those are all things we can talk about later. But for now, I wanna ask this question, uh, how flexible are you? And when you think of flexible, like there's a couple of ways to go at it. Of course, you're, you're listening to the coach, the fitness coach. And one of the things I say is, is with flexibility, it's something that we tend to, unless we're really good at it, right? Or unless we really love doing things like yoga. In fact, it's something that I don't personally love to do. I probably need to do more of it. And I know it's great for you. It has great value, just as any exercise. If you're moving, it has some sort of value if you're doing it properly. And that's with any kind of cross the board, any kind of exercise. But my question is how flexible are you? I wanted to talk about that today as we've kind of come into like this next new direction that we're going into, whether your, your city is opening up, whether you're going back to restaurants, you know, going back to work, your kids maybe are now starting to get out and about, you're getting out and about, maybe you went from wearing a mask to not wearing a mask, whatever, it really doesn't really matter. But at the end of the day, we have to look back and, and when we went to this kind of lockdown mode, we had, there was a bit of flexibility we had to kind of endure, right? You had to pretty much adjust, if you will, or adapt to the, the normal that we were around for at least the last, you know, 56 plus days for you. And my question to you is how flexible are you? Now you think in the physical sense, I think of flexibility is, and I don't know about you, but I know for myself that I've realized I really have to work at the flexibility. I really have to work out at improving it as I get older because it just becomes harder the aches and pains and things, if I don't take the extra steps, the effort to go into uh, helping improving my flexibility or at least maintaining it, um, then it goes away, right? You don't use it, you lose it type of thing. So, you know, my question to you is, how flexible are you? And, you know, I was never one of those flexible people growing up. I was an athlete, but I never had good flexibility. In fact, I talked about it a couple of days ago about the foam roller, if you recall that daily dose. And, and just so you know, all of the daily doses I save and record, they're on here. If you scroll back through, you can go back through in my profile. You can just click on videos or photos and it should pop up and it'll say episode this, episode so forth, 56 episodes uh, on my Facebook profile. And with that um, is... We talked about foam roller and movement and mobility and flexibility. And it's, man, it's something as we get older, it just becomes a lot harder. And I think, you know, not only our body gets set in our ways, our minds get set in our ways and think like, ah, oh, I'll just, I'm getting older. That's just the way it is. But it doesn't mean it has to be that way. In fact, you actually, 
what you focus on, you can improve. Or what my coach and my mentor has said is what you focus on grows. And if you don't focus on flexibility, and this being flexibility in the time during coronavirus, or just in your own physical flexibility, you're going to struggle in that department. It's not, doesn't that kind of make sense to you? If it does, let me know. Give me a little high five. Say, yeah, that totally makes sense. You know, if you don't focus on your flexibility, it's hard to grow your flexibility. So one of the things that I, I think about, what does flexibility in the physical sense, stay with me here, what does physical flexibility in the, in the physical sense mean? Like you can move better, right? Like I'm, I'm flexible. When somebody says they're flexible, it means like, oh, you know, like whether you can touch your toes or you can put your arm behind your back is like, I'm limber, right? The old school terms like I'm limber, I'm able to move well, I have good flexibility, my joints can move well. And that's the truth, right? In just a general sense, flexibility means you can move. If you don't have good flexibility, you don't move well, typically. You're tight, you have those aches and pains. You don't, sometimes you have, you know, you have that tightness in your body and stiffness, and as we get older, it gets worse and worse and worse. And I don't know where you're at in your age or how hard uh, you've worked at your flexibility, but you know if you don't work at it, and there's there obviously are some outliers, some people that are just naturally limber who say they have the double jointedness, which is a total myth because that doesn't exist. It just means you maybe have lax ligaments, your body has a little bit more pliability, and the hard thing with them is they have to get strong because then that can lead into whole different problems. But I wanted to share with you about this flexibility and. One of the ways I learned personally how to become flexible, just about life, about just growing as an individual, growing. Physically speaking, I went to a yogi in New York City. I'll never forget. Uh, I was not, I was a spinning instructor. My hips were so tight. My hip flexors, if you've done any spinning before, you know, cycling, indoor cycling, you know that the muscles in the legs and the hips, if you don't do anything, you can get really, really tight. And I taught maybe five to six classes a week. And it was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of hours, six hours plus on a cycling bike, you know, every single week, not to mention the outdoor stuff. And my body was stiff and tight, but I went to how I learned how to get more flexible. I went to this yogi, like legit yogi. His name is Yogi Dharma Meech. You can even look him up. I think he's got to be a hundred now. And uh, he's in New York City and he was like a true yogi, like legit. Like, and he was probably 80, you know, 70, 80 years old at the time. When I went to him, he was super flexible, super mobile. And he knew it. He was a, a mentor. He was an expert. And I went to him to learn how to improve my flexibility and mobility. And it was really an awesome experience. I, so I valued having a mentor, having an expert help me with my flexibility. Now, I don't know where you're at right now. I don't know how flexible you are. I don't know like if this whole coronavirus just shut you down and caused you to just tighten things up, right? You think of if you're not flexible, you're tightening things up. And this could be physical sense, this could be life sense in general. So one of the ways that you can get out of it is to ask for help, is to not try to do this on your own. If you're struggling, whether it's your work, whether it's your family, whether it's relationships, your spouse, all those types of things, is you can find someone to help you an expert or a mentor, a coach, if you will, just as I do. When people come into my coaching program, they're seeking the advice of an expert who has 25 years of experience to help them, maybe with their flexibility, maybe with understanding how to eat properly, maybe with how to get the weight off. Mark, I've tried all those things. Well, how is it going to be different with you? How's it going to be different? Well, if you haven't tried it yet, you're not going to know whether it is a good fit for you if you haven't tried it. And you might not be a good fit for me. And that's why we figure that out on a phone call beforehand. But I would say is I do help people in that lines. Back to kind of the story of the yogi. It makes me also think it's kind of like our faith. Think about this. And if you haven't watched any of these, and if this is your very first one, um, I'm not, I don't hide behind any faith. In fact, the way I see it, as it wouldn't be much faith if you couldn't share it with others. That's kind of the point of faith. It's aside from growing in your own personal relationship with God or Jesus, the relationship that connects you with God. And again, this is not me to, to necessarily preach my religion to you, if you will, it is more or less to share with you is, is what you focus on grows. Isn't that the truth with our faith? Because here's the deal, it's the same thing as our flexibility. And when I ask you how flexible you are, well, how flexible are you with your faith? In other words, how you grow into a new space. And if you think of what happens when you come into faith, if you understand and have this relationship with God, and you realize that in order for it to grow, in order for your relationship to grow, is that you have to find the space 
to grow into. And what happens is, this is what happens, and it's just like our physical sense, because we get preoccupied on stuff, and then the last thing on the, the things we think about are our physical, you know, when, when all those things, coronavirus went down, all the lockdown, people started work, stopped working out, stopped eating healthy, started snacking more, started being more lazy, and they left little room to grow into their health, right? And that struggle, and that's partly why I'm doing that 21 day challenge, to help people get over that hump, if you will. But here's the same thing with our faith. If you don't focus on your faith, it's hard to grow. If you don't leave space for your faith to grow, it's gonna be hard to grow. Just like being able to move and having that flexibility that you need all through life and even more importantly as we get older because what happens, like we said earlier about physical, flexibility is that it gets tight, gets stiff, it's hard to deal with. It's no different than our faith. It's hard. If, you're, if you don't grow your faith, you'll get stuck. It'll be hard to grow into it. What happens is when you have, uh, when you come into your faith, is that what you're doing is opening up space in your heart. And how do you do that? You have to let God in. Well, what happens is it takes working on it. And your expert may be a pastor, maybe a uh, somebody who's strong in the faith. Maybe you're getting encouraged by me here, who's helping you grow in your faith. But you have there's a flexibility that needs to take place. And sometimes, again, growing into your faith means learning from an expert. And I'm, I'm not saying that I'm an expert. In fact, I'm far from an expert. I'm not a theologian or a pastor, but I have a strong faith. And the only way that I can share with you that that's grown, just as my flexibility has grown over the years from the time where I learned from Yogi Dharma Mitra and now in, in life when I'm using things like a foam roller and making my workouts, my workouts are so different than they were back when I was in my 20s and 30s. When I was in my 20s and 30s, I don't think I ever stretched. I did like at the end of a class, like a quick stretch when I taught spinning and boxing, kickboxing, all those things. But I'll say as I got older, half of my workout is dedicated to the stretching and the flexibility part. And now I think in faith, and it, it's just kind of, I say it's just, it's kind of like our faith is, the only way our faith can grow is that we give space in our hearts for it to grow. How do we do that? Sometimes it takes removing other things out. For me, back to the fitness, when when I was younger, I just worked out hard. That's it, I just worked out hard. Now as I'm older, I had to remove some of that working out hard to put in the space. I had to remove something to put in the space some some time for my flexibility. And then with the faith, the same, same thing as growing in your faith, what that requires is action. Faith without works is dead. Action, having some action. The action for me is to remove some of the things that are not a high priority because faith is really a high priority. But the only way it stays is if you make room in your heart for God to start to fill it. Because here's the deal. It's hard for him to work on you if you're not leaving space for him. Just like it is hard for you to get more flexible in your life, in your health physically speaking, you know, just life speaking in general, if you're not leaving space for that. And it's pretty crazy is, so I'm gonna ask you this question, what are you giving your, so how are you giving your, yourself space to grow? That could be maybe the question today as we go into Memorial Day after tomorrow, and then going into a new week and going into a new month. Can you believe it's now we're what, in month six coming up? June is coming up right around the corner. Maybe this could be a great opportunity is to start looking at how flexible your life is, how flexible your health is. If you need that expert, if you need that coach, that mentor, whether it be in a health relationship, if it's being in a spiritual relationship, whatever that is, here's the crazy thing is, it's hard to be, it's hard to be the best you can be if you're filling it with things that are pulling you down, weighting you down, anchoring you down, keeping you limited from best version of yourself you can possibly be, be it spiritually, physically, emotionally, mentally, all those types of things. And there's this, I learned this from a pastor last week about flex space and having that flexibility to grow into. The, the, at the end of the day, you gotta realize, just like our bodies physically happen and just like our lives, is that you can't, it's impossible to contract, to like shut down and close off and expand at the same time. So my encouragement to you today is when you're wondering how flexible you are, maybe it's not looking at the things that you're really, really flexible at now and you're good. It's those things that are maybe preventing you from being your best. And it could be a physical thing. It could be an emotional, it could be spiritual. And I'm going to encourage you today going into your next week. First off, if it is physical and you need the help, reach out to me. 
I've already shared with you and you may have been following me for a while. You've seen success stories. I've been working with people. I'm encouraged. My goal, my mission is to help over a thousand people this year. I'm on pace for doing that. Uh, on all different levels and I'm more excited now than ever I'm more encouraged I'm more encouraged by my faith to be able to share that with you I'm more encouraged with the flexibility that's God that God is giving me through my relationship with Jesus and just allowing him to just fill my space here in my heart and I hope that is the same for you as far as if you're not filling it if you're not filling space for flexibility if you're not filling space with your spiritual health is that you are encouraged by this message to go forward today to think about and be encouraged by the possibilities of being your best. I'm pursuing, I'll never say I'm at my best, I'm pursuing my best. And I don't know about you, but if you need someone to help pull you along, I would be, I would love to be that person to help pull you along, help bring you into your best season. This truly can become 2020. People are like, oh, it's the worst year ever. This, the year's not over yet. There's lots of months left to make it your best year. I'm planning to make 2020 my best year yet. Are you? I guess it really all depends on how flexible you are. Hey, that's all I have, The Daily Dose. Take care. Listen, uh, we are episode number 56. All I ask is if that you, if this found value, if you found value in this, is that, and if somebody maybe needs to be encouraged, maybe there's somebody that's not so flexible right now, maybe somebody is trying to add in more flexibility in their life and in their health, is that you share this with one person. Take care from the, <laughs> from the backyard and my cardinal friend. I don't even know if that's a cardinal friend or not. From the jungle, take care and God bless. We'll see you.